Hey, you got facts here. Today I got a review of John Randall's 99 Ultimate Legend, the boss card. Thanks, shout out to NYM for letting me borrow this one, as well as Ozzy. Uh, the 86 speed on the defensive tackle is pretty nice. The only problem is his other stats, what we'll get to, kind of like a little problem here. Strength 95, if you believe in that. 95 tackling, 97 block sheds, really nice. 90 power move, 96 finesse move. So now his, his chems here, he's got field general inside blitzer. Now... Field general, okay, that's kind of cool because it helps you max out those things. Inside Blitzer doesn't bring up his good move. It doesn't bring up the f uh, finesse move for this card. So what I'm showing you is a whole lot of snaps with a whole lot of quarterbacks sitting in pockets. Now, John Randall, this kind of ultimate legend, this boss legend, should be providing pressure. That wasn't him getting that pressure. It, the, he did. He got a couple sacks for me, um, which is really nice. But I think in any kind of defensive tackle, I would much prefer power move over finesse move. Finesse, like, don't get me wrong, I'll take finesse move. But because of the amount of times you're double teamed, and uh, there's, the, he did end up getting off his block there. Wait, no, he got pushed back. Like, because he's getting double teamed frequently in the middle, uh, and, and you can kind of scheme it, you can shift your line one way or the other to make him try and get the uh, single team in like a 4 3. And a 3 4, I do not recommend this card because of his inability to get a pass rush. Uh, because of his, his lower power move, whereas like bull rushing through two defenders is much more of a, a power move thing than a finesse move, whereas finesse moves like a one on one. So if you can guarantee him a one on one, yeah, he'll be good. Like spinning and driving around. That's him. That's not him getting that sack. That's Ansa off the edge. Um, so it, it seems like for the ends, the finesse moves okay. So this Randall's kind of like a, a, a mixed bag for me uh, because I did end up playing some four three here. Series of four three pass rush. I ended up ended up blitzing my middle linebacker there. Who he's the one who got the sack, but. He just got, like, Randall's just getting stonewalled here. Here's I'm using him. Like, look at that speed. Very solid speed. Like, if you want to use your defensive tackle, there isn't many better than Randall right here. Um, all right, see, there it is. Allowing the quarterback to escape the pocket without generating any up-the-middle pressure. There's, like, no push. I mean, obviously, there's not many push in Madden, but, like, look at that. All right, so Randall was a one-on-one. -on -one. Swim with the F out of that guard, and uh, that's really what you want. There he is, stiff-walled. Like, Generally, like the, the middle two guys, especially if they're blocking a running back on like a four man pass rush, your middle, your defensive tackle are going to get double team, both of them. And then Randall's basically dead in the water. So he's blocking a running back again. There's a double team on uh, three of my guys and a single team on one of them. Um, and the quarterback ends up escaping it. So, like a four man pass rush, look at Randall just got knocked the fuck down. He just got knocked on his back. Like, yeah, great. He's active right there, um, causing issues there. Against a three man pass rush, I can. Um, how do, I, how do I want to put it? I can say I can forgive a quarterback escaping the pocket up the middle against a three-man. Against a four-man, it's it's a little bit harder to do, um, forgive that, because we're getting stonewalled and allowing so many running lanes right there. But against the run, I mean, he, he's good. What am I going to say against the run? He's solid. He'll get blocked um, just like almost anybody will. I do not like this card as much as I like, say, my Donald, my motivator Donald, still my favorite interior defensive lineman of the year, the way he played for me. Um, and I wish they added more like high-end guys that had motivators. Uh, I know they did motivators too, but they were kind of, I don't know, kind of a letdown in my opinion. I wish they would have made him better. Anyways, especially for the power move blo block shed. But yeah, so Randall got me, what, one and a half sacks over about the seven games I played with him. Um, uh, I, I don't know if I can really recommend him. And, and then there he is, getting knocked down again. Without the power move, he just gets knocked on his ass. Like, it's really, this, this card was very disappointing for me. Uh, without generating a pass rush up the middle. He's got the great stats to do it. I mean, his traits are fine. Um, he's got yes to almost all his traits, but uh, this card, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Out of 10, I give it a 7.9. He's going for 610K. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.